Hi everyone, today I'm gonna show you how you can create your own LLM based voice assistant bot with function calling. Function calling means that you can use a larger language model to determine parameters for your own functions through an object. We are implementing a kind of McDrive system where users can order products. At the end, the user will be prompted to pay for the ordered products with the calculated price at a pickup counter. First we will go through the necessary steps in a Jupyter notebook and then I'm gonna show you how to integrate that workflow into a web application. So in theory, we have to do the following steps. First, we need to create an audio file. Then we send the audio file to the Whisper API to get a transcript. Then we send the transcript with a function calling instruction to OpenAI. Then we input the parameters into the function and calculate something. We then pass the result back to OpenAI and let it generate a final answer. We then send the text to a speech to text API and that output will be passed to the front end. Okay, I'm currently in VS Code. Here on the left you can see there is an app folder which contains the web application and we also got this concepts IPython notebook. We will first walk through the notebook to show or demonstrate the workflow. I pre-calculated the speech.mp3, which is our input. We will later be able to do that with our microphone. And the first step is to create our database. So this is normally some kind of SQL database, but yeah, for the ease of use, this is just a dictionary. It works almost the same. So we've got multiple products which have different prices and the user is able to order multiple items and then we will be able to calculate the final price. So this is the database and then we're gonna create a comma separated list or just a, a simple string by joining the keys. So Coke, fries and so on into a single string. So this is the data we need for uh, the OpenAI API. The next step is to OpenAI the OpenAI class from the OpenAI package. We also import load.env and find.env to load the OpenAI API key. And then we will create our client. We also open our audio file and then we send the audio file as the file parameter to the OpenAI API. And this will return our transcript and the transcript or the text itself is stored in the text property. So this takes a few seconds. Okay, I have to do it with a working API key. Now I've got it working and let's check the transcript. So this is the transcript from the speech.mp3. Hello, I want to buy two cheeseburgers, one package of large fries and two big Cokes. Thank you. So what we have to do is we have to convert this text into an order which is able to work with our database. So we know that we've got one um, package of large fries. So this equals one. Then we've got two cheeseburgers and two Cokes. Both of them are products in our product database. And we can use this function to calculate a final price from that. So let's create this function. And here we can see an example object which uh, looks the way our function expects it. So we extract the products with quantities property from the dictionary. And here's our list of products. So we want to say that we want one Coke or the name is Coke and the quantity is let's say one or two. And then we've got hot dog and the quantity is one or two again. And now we can calculate a final price. And the final price for that is 548. The new way to perform function calling with OpenAI is to provide a list of tools. So we've got multiple um, type of tools and one type of that is actually function calling. And then we have to define how our function looks like. So the name is calculate total price. So this is exactly the same name as here. These two have to match. And then we have to provide a description. This is very important for the LLM to identify the correct function to call. So calculate the price of a list of products with specified quantities and so on and so on. Here we've got the name and the quantity. This is important because these are the properties the LLM should suggest. So. Here we can see that this is also set to required. And yeah, that's it. That's the definition of our tool. We then create another instance of the OpenAI client. And after that, we create our message with that client. So we set a first system message and give the instruction. So you are an assistant to reformulate text input of a user. He orders products. You identify the following products and the products are the product names as string, which we created here on top. So here we created these keys and these should be identified by the LLM. And what happens with that is that if the user makes a spelling error like 
head dog instead of hot dog, the LLM should reformulate that to match it. And here we pass the transcript text. So this is what we created here from our speech.mp3. So this will be passed to the LLM. And now we can see that the question will look different. Hello, I would like to order two cheeseburgers. So now we've got a real quantity of two. One order of fries, so fries is one, and two Cokes. Okay, now we've got our reformulated question, and now we can use function calling. Here we pass another argument, which is tools. We did not have that here, but now we pass it. And as we can see, that now the response value is different. So we don't get any content back, but we get this tool calls object back with an ID. And here the important part is how our function should be called. So these are the arguments, product with quantities, name cheeseburger quantity two, name fries, quantity one, and the Coke with a quantity of also two. And we can extract that like this. So this is the message. And inside that message, we've got this tool calls property, which is a list. And then inside here, we've got a function attribute and inside there, another name attribute. And we get the arguments nearly the same. So this is the function name and the arguments we want to pass. So let's print this. And this is the function we want to call and this is the arguments we want to pass. So let's just take that. And yeah, this is actually a JSON object. And this is why we have to use JSON loads to convert the JSON object into a dictionary. So we've got the arguments and we pass the arguments like this. So this will now calculate the final price. Let's maybe print that. So the final price is 15 and 45. With that price, we can create another LLM call and we do it like this. So we instruct the model, you are a helpful assistant. You tell the client, thanks for your order. Please drive um, to the issue encounter and put the money in the machine. The final price is, and then we pass the final price, which we calculated here. And now this will create a human like message. So let's make another call. And this is the content. This is what we want. And this is what we don't want as text, but we want it as MP3. So first we create a path for our MP3 file. We get the current working directory and uh, say the name should be order.mp3. And then we gonna uh, pass our output, so the message here, or to be specific, the content attribute of our message and pass that to the text-to-speech API from OpenAI. And then we stream back the uh, response to our file. So as you can see, this stream to file method got this line through the text, which means that the method is deprecated. But to be honest, that's the method um, officially used in the OpenAI documentation. This is why I will keep it that way. So let's just do it until we get an updated version of that. And yeah, that's our order.mp3 file. Now let's test the quality of this order.mp3. Thanks for your order. Please drive to the issue encounter and put the money in the machine. The final price is 15.450000001 euro. Thanks for your order. Okay, as you can see, this works, but we got a little issue because yeah, we don't have 0001 um, as currency. So we have to strip it to only two decimals. So this is what we're gonna do in the final application. Now let's have a look at our app.py. As you can see, this looks pretty familiar. We've got the same functionality. Here's our function, here's our database. Here is the option to call or use the tools. And now we've got multiple functions uh, integrated into a class. So we've got not real functions, but methods. And yeah, this is just a little bit more concise and better code than before, because yeah, this is the real application and we create it with Flask. So we also serve a front end, as you can see here in our root directory, we serve this index.html, which is in our templates folder. And then we've got another endpoint here, which is process audio. And we can upload an audio to this endpoint, and then we extract the audio a key from that object here. And then we're gonna save that file here on our local file system. We then use the handle input method from our OpenAI client. This is responsible for 
making a request to the WISP API where we pass in that audio file, we get back a response and then we send back the response from the front end. As you can see, very little code here, everything which is complex is handled in this method. So in the front end itself, we just upload a so-called blob. This is done by creating new form data where we pass in an MP3 file and we send this with the fetch API to our endpoint. So this is how front end and back end work together with, uh, with each other. And we start this application just by running python app.py. And now our development server is running on port 5577. So this is our front end, as you can see, very minimalistic. We've got the start recording button and then we can order some food. So let's do that. We have to allow that and now let's try it. Hello, I want to order three hamburgers, two fish burgers and three milkshakes. I also want to add two Cokes. Thank you. Stop recording. Thanks for your order, waiting. And now let's wait for the response from OpenAI. This may take a few seconds. Please drive to the issuing counter and put the money in the machine. The final price is 34.9 euros. Thank you once again for choosing Mac AI. So this is how you can create your own AI based assistant application with function calling. This can be of course used for many different ideas. Let me know your ideas in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. See you. Bye bye.